So tomorrow is Black Friday and the Christmas buying season is upon us. You should be able to get your pick of any RTR drag car if you're ready to enter this awesome RC hobby. Question is, which one should you get? And if you want to take it out of your driveway, which one's going to actually stick around with you in the future? Coming up next on the channel. What's up guys, it's Chad. Welcome back to the Dorky and 40 channel. I have had the associated DR10 since it pretty much came out. I built the DR10 kit. So I'm pretty familiar with these RTR car kind of deals. I've also kind of dipped my toes into the other ones, but never really felt the need because I advanced quickly like some of you know, to a full-on drag chassis build, which we'll get to at the end of this video here. So if you are going to just buy something to play with you and your child or whatever, you're not going to take any of this serious at all. You are into bashing. You go to hobby shops regularly. I would probably go ahead and steer you towards the Traxxas Drag Slash. Now, this is kind of where all of us started at a couple years ago a modified slash with short banded arms and all that kind of good stuff. They've made a few little tweaks to it. They've gave it a nice body. It's got a good gyro, so it'll go straight, keep you from being frustrated. Not too bad. It is on the pricey side, but if you're in the Traxxas, you can get parts for these at any hobby shop that you may be near. So it's definitely the best way to have some fun in the hobby but it is going to be an expensive ticket if you need to buy a couple for a couple of your kids or for you and your child. The Losi 22S Camaro. Now this is a very, very popular and a lot of the reason why is some people are Team Losi Racing fans and some people are Associated fans. This came out, it pretty much was the second one to the scene. It quickly caught fire. I see them all over the hobby shops. There is some advantages and disadvantage to this one versus the other ones. The one thing against the Traxxas is it's way cheaper in price. A lot of people will say that it also comes with better electronics than the DR10 from Associated, which we will talk about next. So I think this car with a few upgrades, there's also a lot of YouTube videos out there of a few little modifications that you could do to get even more enjoyment out of this car. So I would probably recommend this one as, well, let's just talk about the DR10 first. The team associated DR10 is pretty much the one that broke the mold. They were the first RTR drag car to the market. And the great thing about this car, the DR10, is it's a culmination of all of their old stuff with a new body and some electronics and stuff all put together, ready to go, ready to run, all that stuff. This right here is just for the actual car. You, They do have a kit that you can get with more money for battery, charger, all that stuff. I'm gonna have links to both of these vehicles down in the description below if you feel like helping out the channel through the Amazon affiliate links. Pretty much the same thing though. I've You're gonna to wanna to pick up a couple things for this, maybe some new tires, some belted reactions, things like that. Great learning platform for sure. Some people still ran them. I actually ran this car until a couple months ago. And the good thing about this one, there is a few upgrade paths for the Losi, but I'm not 100% sure on exactly how they are. But I personally have went on the upgrade path to the Beef Tubes Brisket DR10 chassis, which is a full carbon fiber chassis that you take all of your parts off of your DR10 and you throw them right onto there. And now you got a high performance carbon fiber kit that you could tune with and play around with. And yeah, it's fun. I can't wait to get mine back out next year and it really get it dialed in and see what it can do. Now, if you're one of those people that just want to go all out and you're not into these already RTR vehicles and stuff, then you're going to have to go the long route. I'm sure many of you have heard of the bullet chassis, the new Apollo chassis. There's a lot of popular chassis that are out there right now. I own the five-star breakout chassis, and if I can do it, you can do it. That's all I have to say. 
Tim at Midwest RC helped me build the thing over Skype. I've got to build video series for it. It's a solid thing. And they make two different versions now. So if some of you happen to have an AE buggy, you can use that, a B6 buggy. If some of you have a low C22 5.0, then you they also sell a kit for that. And the great thing about these guys is that, again, I mean, look, I'm just a regular Joe. Like, I put some time and work into this thing for sure. But after I settled out and figured out a couple of the initial things that I messed up on the build and, you know, just a few little bugs, I mean, this thing was ripping, like, right off the bat. I really have done very little to the actual car itself besides built it. Everything has been around tuning, driving with the ESC, the San Juan radio, all that kind of stuff. So it's a super duper chassis. And these guys just keep on, this is the optional upgrades now. They're up to five pages of stuff you can buy for this thing. I mean, I have some of this stuff and I know some people will say, well, some of it's gimmicks, but man, I love gimmicks. I mean, if you really know what you're doing in RC, you could tune this car to like the nth degree now. They make all these different size transmission risers to like get your dog bones up and like just lower that resistance. They've got brass this, aluminum that, multiple different uh, sides of shock towers for the front, for the rear. The only thing that they don't have is like an actual build your own kit. So you don't have to buy all this stuff twice. That's one thing that I really wish they would have got accomplished before the end of the year, but it does not look like they did that. And they just keep adding new stuff. They've got new stuff on here since I was even on here the other day. And I've got some more stuff from them coming as well. Some of their cool 3D printed tires. So that should be a pretty enjoyable so stick around for that video now if you want to be on the edge of hotness what everybody is talking about it would be the apollo drag car from G team gfrp now their pre-orders are out again so you're not going to be able to get it you're going to have to send out an email i'm sure some people are out there selling them used they're buying them and building them up and selling them but it's not really a proven car yet. I mean, I'm going to say it kind of is, but it's not. These guys do things differently because everything that you need for the car, minus your electronics, comes with the actual car. You don't have to buy a buggy kit and a chassis and then put it all together. The other thing is, is that they make every single part that goes on this car. So if there's issues, you have to deal directly with them. You can't go to your hobby shop and pick up a part or order a part off a of five star. Now, I can't speak for Team GFRP. I know that they are also affiliated with the Five Seven Designs Company. They, like a lot of people, have had some issues this year stocking materials and parts. And their shipping, I've heard, also can sometimes be a little slow. We got to give that to everybody right now, though, so I'm not singling them out. Point I'm trying to prove is that if you have a hobby shop that stocks buggy kits, whether it be low C or AE, you might want to look at a car like the Breakout because you'll be able to walk right in there and buy any kind of part that you need, or you can get on a main Amazon and you can have most of that stuff there within the next day or two. So I hope that helps some of you guys so I hope that helps some of you new guys out, out there. A lot of, most of my regular people have already made their minds up and they're basically figuring out what they're gonna buy maybe for their third, fourth, or fifth drag car. That's how addicted they are. And this is just the beginning because we haven't even talked about motors or ESCs or any of that stuff yet. And some of my opinions have changed on that and you might be interested to hear what I have to say. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and we will see you guys the next time. Happy Thanksgiving. Peace.